More than two dozen dogs seized from a North Carolina home are now being treated in Hampton Roads. The Humane Society of the United States organized a raid yesterday. They took nearly 60 dogs from the home of a man police are calling a hoarder. We showed you this video from Hertford County, North Carolina. Today, I got to see some of them and find out when they'll be ready for adoption. They smell bad and some don't look much better. But these 11 dogs of the Norfolk SPCA are on their way to baths and better health. The dogs came to us with a variety of conditions. Uh, we've got mange, we've got uh, a lot of uh, dogs who are underweight um, and uh, some eye infections. We've got uh, blindness, deafness, that sort of thing. This guy in particular faces the greatest challenges. I know this one's Marshmallow. Marshmallow is blind and deaf. We're hoping that there's some very kind member of the public who will step forward and say, I would be delighted to give this wonderful animal a terrific home. All of these dogs will be up for adoption soon, along with 16 more, including seven puppies at the Virginia Beach SPCA. Most of them are actually pretty calm as it is. Uh, they're not bouncing off the walls, given what they've gone through. Animal rescue teams pulled them from Terry Shinneberry's home in Murfreesboro Monday. Shinneberry told 10 on your side he breeds Australian shepherds. He admits the situation got out of hand. Well, I was ever one. You sure enough was. People bring me rescues all the time. Is that well, but I, how am I supposed to tell them no? Can't turn. Can't turn dog away. Not that kind of person. Shinberry now faces animal cruelty charges, while the dogs are looking forward to getting out from behind these bars and on to better lives. Both Norfolk and Virginia Beach SPCAs hope to have the dogs well and ready for adoption within the next two weeks. So if you're interested, they suggest following their websites and Facebook pages. We made that really easy for you. We put a link on wavy.com.